Hello everybody, Minnestorm here. Welcome back to Stellaris, the co-dominant human elf campaign. In the last episode, we continued working on our war against the Savelli Galactic Assembly. That we are fighting to liberate some of their planets uh, to help out our new allies. Uh, we were able to occupy uh, this system here. Get both of these planets occupied. And we are now moving on to work on uh, well, getting some more planets occupied, building up some more war scores, so we can hopefully put this war to bed. Now, making a couple of adjustments to what we're doing here, based on some suggestions uh, coming from viewers. So, the... Uh, we have a new fleet. This a small contingent fleet consisting of... One battleship, battle cruiser, three strike cruisers, two light carriers, four destroyers, and six corvettes. It's going to head to the Polaris system. Apparently, there is an enemy fleet gathering in that vicinity. They're going to attempt to gauge and destroy it. Uh, the main fleets are actually going to remerge and head for the Polystea system to begin destroying their. Uh, star bases to try to eliminate their ability to build new ships or significantly reduce it. We're going to hit the Polystea system. We're going to hit the Fangnar system there. And as far as the ground forces, um, we have split off the armies commanded by Lin Cheng Leonard, um, the basically the Angelic Order armies, the new Psionic armies. And our original psionic armies, we, one of them is over here that needs to join up. But So ten uh, armies in total are going to be heading toward this system. Ten legions to land on the planet of Kormli. To reinforce the uh, Moij here. And then we're going to be sending the bulk of the army all the way over here to this system to aid our allies in taking Faradex. They have not landed any forces here yet, so we're going to be bringing in the full might of, well, our regular army, minus the garrison forces, of course, uh, to help deal with that. So, let's go ahead and pause it. Let's let things play out and see how they go. Now, we're 11 months away from getting a new ship design, the carrier. We'll see how that goes. Oh, one of our scientists died. So font one a seven has died. So we need a new scientist. Do we have anybody who is a good in particles research? You. All right. So you take over his position. science ship that is no longer occupied here so let's go ahead and recruit a new scientist psychic particles we already have someone who's good at particles we in fact it's got them we already have someone good at void craft couple good at computing Expertise statecraft. Do we have anybody who's good at statecraft? No, we don't. All right, so let's recruit you. So, where are our fleets? Ah, 
Preparing to jump. So, our guys here. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought that was a different thing. Okay, so I need to correct that mistake. To redo that, okay, we need to say we want to split off the psionic armies. We need to split off uh, the I guess they're going to be toward the bottom, right? The 10th, the 2nd, the 4th. 12th and the 8th. There we go. Get over there and land your armies. Those guys are still going to do what they're going to do. It's this guy that I was thinking was over there, but that's not the case. Okay. Alright, this fleet is getting work. These guys are moving on. Engaging enemy station. Now we should actually have the rest of the fleet coming down here as well, right? Yes, there are couple jumps away. Alright, there's the enemy fleet. We want to engage them not with the starport. The starport could complicate things. Our fleet is big enough to take on their fleet by itself, but not if we mix in the starport. So let's just you hold back here, let them come to us. Engaging. Engaging enemy fleet. All right. The angelic order is on the ground. These guys are full are coming in. We're gonna watch this battle. We have one battleship, two strike cruisers, a light carrier, five cruisers, two destroyers, and a corvette. So we have the flagship, the URC Lido, we have the Chimera. That strike cruiser is uh, taking a heavy beating. But so far, so good. I expect us to lose some Corvettes.
But we haven't lost any ships yet. They're focusing on the strike cruisers, which is why they're there. Because they have the endurance to sit there and take it. Alright, there goes an enemy capital ship. There's another enemy capital ship. There's another enemy ship. That one's about to die. Yep, there it goes. Down. This one's next. Well, that one's probably next. And then this one. Okay. Now, I don't want you guys to engage that spaceport. Not your mission. So I want you to head back here. Oh, the spaceport's already engaged. That's uh, unfortunate. Deploying liberation forces. Uh, what are they doing? So we should be on the ground now here in Faradex. Indeed we are. And the Allies are landing their troops as well. We lost one Corvette against a spaceport. down one one Corvette at the moment. We're gonna lose the strike cruiser. Almost certainly. There's an enemy what is this? Destroyer. Corvettes are engaging the destroyer. We are five months away from those carriers. Our destroyer's down. There's another battle cruiser that just came in. We got the new animated reactors, that's good. Uh, what do we want? Uh, so space sensors... Let's just grab those sensors, it should be fairly easy to take care of that. Alright, there goes the battle cruiser. These destroy cruisers are beat up. That one's not gonna make it. There it goes. The big ships are not even in range yet.
colony founded. Two strike cruisers. Destroyer or a Corvette. Yeah, we lost two strike cruisers, a destroyer, and four Corvettes. But it was a good trade, even still. Alright, so you guys, yeah, head back there. Okay, now you don't want us to just sit here. I want you to fly over here. Can you come back here and get repairs? You probably need to link back up in the main fleet once you're done getting serviced. Alright, so this planet is now occupied. I'm guessing that they're going to head over here. We haven't occupied this world yet. Let's see, College of Engineering. Oh, current Colony of Engineering. Uh, they want a research agreement. We are going to agree to the research agreement. Agree to the agreement. Engaging enemy spaceport. Do they actually have anybody here? No. One severely damaged strike cruiser. Alright, that spaceport is down. Technology discovered. We got carriers, alright. Hold on. New tradition, which we're gonna take the fleet logistics core. That's gonna help. We need to pick a new tech. Uh sensor stations, nev. Spitfire Battleship Designs, Unlock Ship Type Dreadnought, Advanced Corvette Designs, Ah, uh, Dread.
Add not? Yes. Yes. All right, let's see if we have a new ship design to look at. It's not listed here. What about over here? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so what do we want? Um, medium slots, broadside bow, um, broadside core, broadside core one, mediums and large. Ooh. Wait, but that doesn't have any hangers. Why would you ever take one that doesn't have any hangers? Because then, then it's basically just a battleship. Like, that's a battleship. That's not a carrier. Okay. Um, so, we want... This, I think. Uh, for mediums, I think we're going to want turbo lasers. 65 range. S uh, the small concussion missiles have a 60... Yeah, yeah. So... I know we don't want turbo lasers. Blue, blue turbo lasers in the medium slots, concussion missiles in the smalls, and for hangers, advanced fighter, point defense fighter wings, yes, and advanced bomber wings. Autocomplete. Six, set the 60 range. Uh, let's see. Sensor, ulti hull, evasion, chance of hit. Ship hull points, ship shield points. Ship shield points. Oh, we're short power. Um, there we go. Uh, I need a name. Let me think for a second. Okay, I think we're going to go with uh, Toxatis. Um, basically, it is an, it's a word for archer. So, save that. And... How much did they cost to build? 2,500 minerals. And 10 naval capacity. I think we could probably swing... Oh, we could swing three of them. But let's just go with two for now. Build you there. Build you there. All right. Full-on fleet carriers. This invasion is still going on? But well, they're about to start losing troops. about the other planet in this system colony conquered all right We're able to occupy that planet very, very good. Okay, so you guys embark. Hmm. 
Now, are these guys going to go anywhere? Alright, well then let's do this. We finished destroying everything here. So let's head back to this system. We'll bring the transports over here too. And then we'll see what we see. Precursor shield array. And we have an election, which I don't really have a ton of influence to spend, so we'll just let it go how it's going to go. Following Hus Voidfarers. Okay, they are starting to jump out. Okay. Oh, we already moved our guys out. That's right. We're coming down for our project. Keldon's first. Now what I think I might do here is end this episode a few minutes early. I'm a little tired. Uh, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the bed just a little bit early. It's all right. We made some progress. Let's just see. We still need 59, 59 more war score either from just waiting we're taking stuff, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, some enemy ships. Oh, just one small ship. No big deal. Okay, so we'll end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.